this is D with Pretty in Things and black girls do use lip plumpers. I put three lip plumpers to the test and I'm going to show you just how they fared. This is Steve with Pretty and Things. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Well, guys, I am back with a new video featuring three lip plumpers. Um, I've heard a lot about lip plumpers and um, thought I would give them a try. I like my lips, but my bottom lip could be um, a little bit fuller, and uh, I do overline my lips, so I thought, you know what, let me give lip plumpers a try, but do they work? That was the question, so I did a little bit of research, and I decided to try three of them. Um, before we get into uh, the plumpers and my test of them, please don't forget to subscribe, you guys, and follow me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Okay, guys, so let's get into this video because this was actually a lot of fun for me. I tested three lip plumpers. Um, a lip plumper from NYX, the, lim the NYX Pump It Up lip plumper. Um, the... Uh, very popular lip plumper from Too Faced, the lip injection. And a lip plumper that is not probably as well known and it is the one from Models Own. And I chose these three because NYX is a very popular affordable brand that you can find pretty much anywhere. Um, I, chose, I chose Models Own because it is a, a lesser known brand but it got excellent reviews and of course I chose um, Too Faced because it seemed to be the most well-known and popular lip plumper so what I did you guys was I conducted this test over the course of three separate days I didn't want any sort of cross-contamination um, so I'm going to show you um, basically how I vlogged my test throughout these three days let's get into this video please leave your comments let me know what you think um, the best plumper was I did my best to sort of capture before and after and I look forward to your comments and your thoughts on this video as always I thank you for watching so let's get into it Okay guys, so I am testing the NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper first. Okay. It looks and feels just like a lip gloss. Okay, and sure I get it out on there. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit of a tingle. A little bit of a tingle. Ooh, yeah, definitely feeling a little tingle start, uh, starting. So I'm going to leave this on and let it develop into its full plumpness. Let me come in tight so you guys can see the before. Okay, this is, the, this is the, my lips before. This. Okay. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I wiped the Lip Plumper by NYX off my lips and this is what I'm left with. There's definitely some tingling, but do I feel my lips are plumper? Maybe a little bit, I don't know, you guys, it's tough to say. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think maybe a little bit. But I do think my lower lip, which is the the um, the lip I want, you know, to plump the most, is a bit fuller for sure. Okay, so I added um, my lip products. It's the same um, that I use, and we'll be using for each and every um, plumper. Yeah, this is the final product. I don't know, you guys. I do tend to overline my lips, so just want to make that clear to make them look fuller, but I do think there's a subtle difference. I really do notice a 
little bit of extra fullness. So that is NYX. This is day two and I am trying um, lip plumper number two. This is the lip, lip plumper from Model Zone. And I just opened it and I'm gonna just apply it right now and give you just my initial thoughts. As you can see, it's just a clear gel-like formula, like a gloss. So let's see. Mmm, smells good, like, like strawberries. Okay. There's no um, color to it. It's like a nice, it's like a strawberry gloss. Although it's clear, as you can see, I'm looking in, um, on the screen here, it looks like red, but I like it. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this develop. I just zoomed in so you guys can see. As of now, there is no sort of tingling, you know, whatsoever. So we will see how effective this is if I notice any sort of difference or not I'm gonna go and run some errands in I'll be back so just a really quick update I am on my way out the door and the tingle has definitely begun so um, it took about maybe five minutes or so but I definitely now began to feel a bit of tingle with this model's own lip plumper it's not as tingly as um, the um, NYX lip plumper that I tried, but there's now some subtle sort of tingling to this that I feel. Okay guys, it's been about 30 minutes. I don't know, maybe there is some plumpness, some additional plump plumpness, but I mean, nothing truly significant, but definitely a little bit. I'm going to now um, apply my uh, lip color in Come back. Okay, so I am back. Uh, my lip products have been applied. You know, I always tend to overline to um, create that much more fullness. But I don't know. Here it is. What do you think? Hmm. Move in a little bit closer. What do you think, guys? Tough to say. But I do like the look. Maybe it's the overlining. Um, obviously, that helps, but this is it. Next will be lip plumper number three tomorrow, and that is the Too Faced lip injection. So I am actually in the middle of recording um, a Meghan Markle inspired look. So before I got, I get to the, um, the, the lip portion of the um, Get Ready With Me, I thought I would um, pop in here and apply my uh, third lip plumper. Um, this is the Too Faced a Lip Injection. And this is what it looks like. It's pink. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. This is uh, lip plumper number three. And give you my initial impressions okay so this is what it looks like mmm smells like strawberries yummy it smells really good okay so here we go mm. now of the three this is the most expensive this cost almost like four times what the other two cost the other two were like six bucks. This was twenty-two dollars. Okay. Oh, it's it's thicker for sure than the NYX and the Model Zone. It feels like a really luxurious lip gloss. As of now, I feel no tingle, but you know I expect that to change. Um, so yeah, that is uh, my application of the Too Faced uh, lip injection. I'm gonna move in closer so you guys can see the before. All right, so this is the before. 
Okay, so I'll come back. I'm going to let this sit while I finish my Meghan Markle inspired um, get ready with me. You guys don't want to miss that. And I will come back with my thoughts on it. I'm starting to feel the tingle now. Okay, guys, so I've had the uh, Too Faced lip injection on for about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes. And I have to say, there is no tingle yet. Um, I thought for a moment I was starting to feel some, but really not. It feels like a nice strawberry um, lip gloss. Yeah, I mean, I expected this one, since it was, you know, four times the price of the other two, to be the one that kicked in fastest and showed me the uh, most results. But, yeah, it doesn't look that way, guys. I mean, I've got nothing so far, nothing. I'm going to keep this on for a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to go in with my lip um look as per the other two but so far you guys i'm 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 a little surprised that i've not experienced any sort of tingling or anything with this uh two face lip plumper okay guys so i am back i have applied my lip products and um yeah this is the result I honestly, you guys, do not see any difference whatsoever with the Too Faced lip injection. I am surprised because that one, again, costs the most and um, I've heard of the most. So I'm really surprised that there doesn't seem to be any real uh, difference or any real significant plumpness, you know, whatsoever with the uh, Too Faced lip injection. As you can see, let me move in closer. I've moved in closer so you guys can see um, I do you know overline my lip as I did with the other two and um, you guys I'm just saying that I mean there, there's just no discernible difference between uh, my lips normally and um, having applied the Too Faced lip injection so um, those are my three comparisons um, the NYX um, lip plumper, the uh, model's own lip plumper, and um, the Too Faced lip injection. Um, I realize that Too Faced makes an extreme, but I wanted to make this all a level playing field, so I just chose the regular of each version. So let me know who you think the winner is, what you think worked best on me. Um, for me, I think either NYX or model's own. Um, like you, I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage and compare myself. I'm leaning towards the NYX, and it's crazy because of the three, it was the least expensive. So, how about that? Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and follow me, guys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So, until next time, mwah!